There is a great story told by Guy Ballard, also known as Godfrey Ray King, of Saint Germain taking him into the Cave of Symbols. Godfrey tells of being invited to sit in the Ascension Fire Chair. He experienced the bliss of the Ascension Fire purifying and accelerating his atoms. Beloved one, Enter the cave now and prepare for the ascension fire acceleration of your own being. Beloved Afra comes today by the grace of God with Saint Germain to lower into manifestation over you a replica of this ascension fire chair. The action is of the violet laser light of pure, loving, transmutative forgiveness and mercy. And an angel is assigned to you, an angel of mercy from the heart of beloved Amethyst and Lord Zacchaeus. Beloved Amethyst's angel stands before you and draws out from you everything that you will consciously or unconsciously release into the flame. And now the chair is there and the action, the spinning, and the transmutation begins. Release into the fire all that is less than God desire. Accept the love of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God, flowing into your heart, into your electronic belt, and see and feel and know the dissolving of ancient patterns and records of past lifetimes back to Atlantis and Lemuria. And even for some of you and other systems of worlds completely being erased. There is the grace of God here and the power of God manifesting through this alchemy today. By dispensation from Afra, Saint Germain and Amethyst, there is the dissolving for each and every one of you of between 5,000 and 25,000 years of your karma. This action will continue during this service, and as you breathe out and release the substance and breathe in divine light, perfect joy, divine happiness, this alchemy continues. Accept complete forgiveness. Accept divine joy. Accept the true you, aligning you in this hour in perfection with your great I am God presence. Because of the momentum that many of you have in giving the violet fire prayers, you have received the grace of God today. Because the Master is here, overshining us, blessing us, and sponsoring us. And there is now a replica of the great cosmic violet ray generator superimposed over this room by the Elohim Arcturus and Victoria. 
which is assisting in this process. This violet ray generator is magnificent. It is a cosmic and divine machine co-created by the Elohim to assist mankind in this process of supernal transmutation. As a part of this great geodynamo of power, there are 144 perfect amethyst crystals that phase the light through multi-dimensions of our being to magnetically and cosmomagnetically re-geometrize us into the original blueprint of our true self. We can choose to simply accept our reality and the image of which we were created in the beginning. Accept your real self. Accept your true divine being. There is now a cosmic hum in this process, and the frequencies are differentiated individually for each one, based on what level of consciousness the karmas were created at. And so the frequencies are matched to erase them, and then to raise our awareness. Simultaneously with the erasing of our karma is the instauration within us of new patterns of perfection. Because where there is carved out from the electronic belt darkness, there must be concurrently the introduction of new light energies of grace, perfection, and molecules of solar beingness and holy radiance. So accept now the grace of God through these crystalline energy patterns that fill in those spaces where there had been darkness with light. Now the key for all of us is to retain that light and not to recreate through our memory anything of the past from this day forward. Do not speak about past errors any longer between you and others. Do not suppress them and yet do not bring them up any longer because if you do, you will recreate them at some vibration. Let go of them permanently and simultaneously accept now your new selfhood for this alchemy to be sustained and to be 100% vitally effective for your ongoing life. When Jesus said, Go and sin no more, he meant it, because he knew that people could recreate the karma if they lapsed into patterns that created those issues in the first place. So the Lord Zacchaeus says unto you, Go and make karma no longer that negative karma. Go and be fruitful and multiply good karma through gracious works of service, humanitarian work, and the alchemy of givingness. This will sustain the momentum of our alchemy in our new lives. So the action is continuing and there is the drawing down of an energy field of a deep blue radiance around our auras through our tube of light 
and it seals and makes permanent this blessing and this experience. The angels work with our higher selves now to do all that they can to assist us at the deepest level of our beings in order to accommodate this magnificent action of light. The action is now complete. You may relax, open your eyes, and feel that love of God manifesting within you. As an angel holds a beautiful mirror up to you, directly in front of you, to show you the new you. You may see it now on the inner, even if you cannot see it on the outer. Your glowing self, your beautiful self, appears within this mirror before you. Thank you, God. Thank you, beloved Master Afra, beloved Amethyst, beloved Arcturus and Victoria, Saint Germain, and the Angel of Amethyst for this grace and this sacred opportunity.